Hello there. This is not going to be so much a tutorial, but rather uh, more of a quick little peek behind the scenes uh, in our in the After Effects file for this uh, Panorama 9 animation that we did. It's kind of retro 8-bit style game animation. And the focus will be on something called replacement animation, which we decided to use for this project. And it's kind of handy, and hopefully you'll understand the basics of that once uh, you've reached the end of this little walkthrough. So, okay, the bit we'll be looking at from the video is where he walks, IT man walks up to these employees and they transform into this evil dragon. And he goes into this closet or whatever it is, and <laughs> he picks up a shield and a battle axe and, you know, to defend himself against this evil dragon. And he slaughters the dragon. See him punching there a couple of times. It dies. And his boss appears, and he's not going to slaughter the boss. Uh, that's only in the, in the X-rated version. <laughs> Anyways, let's see how the, we constructed this. So we start out by having this really rough uh, walk cycle, where he's basically just changing from one state to another. And let's scroll down and see if we can find that. And this is this orange, orange layer down here. And you can see we have the time remap on the layer, and it refers uh, to the contents of this layer, and we'll dive into that later. And then we have position, where we just basically move the entire comp, IT man comp, um, to make him, you know, slide across the floor. And yeah, so the time remap, as you can see, if you keep an eye on the time here, it sort of sort of plays from zero inside of this comp and then it goes all the way up to two seconds and 20 frames and if we go into the comp let me just double click it you can see here we've got all the different moves of IT man all collected inside of one comp and in the previous comp we time re remapped it from 0 to 220. And as you can see, the time span uh, from 0 to 220 is, uh, let me see here, is actually very, very short little bit here. So actually, this is the time span. So this is basically a walk cycle that we're creating by referring to that. Uh, time remap in here and yeah and as you can see here after 220 it sort of just stops for a while on 220 uh, and that means obviously he doesn't doesn't really move and then to change his the way he faces we're just using a scale uh, and turning off this uh, lock here to make him just flip like this and then we start this walk cycle again by time remapping into the comp here. And right when he's in here, when he's all hidden, just notice the time, 3.09. And if we just move over a little bit, we change it to 2.15. And if we go into this IT man comp again, let's see what we have at 2.15. We have, yeah. We have this pose where we've got where he's got the shield and the battle axe, so it sort of jumps from somewhere around here to up here. So it's very it's very dynamic, very flexible. You can easily change his pose uh, to whatever you want. Let's say we wanted him to maybe at this point he should have some kind of other pose. We could just scrub the slider here and you know to get the pose we wanted him to have. Maybe you should be cheerful. Okay, we just stop it there. So it's kind of he's cheerful. It doesn't really make sense. He <laughs> picks up a shield and battle axe, and then he goes, "Oh yay!" And then he fights back here. <laughs> Anyways, that is the ba you know that's the basics of uh, using time remapping. It's it's um, replacement animation. It's just using time remapping to control what is vis what's visible uh, inside of a specific comp at any given time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from BarkVideo.com. Thanks!